Papara team, and I teach at a high school in Redwood City, California. In about three minutes, I'm going to begin a Hangout where I'm going to show you Hapara's remote control feature for Chrome browsers that enables educators to see what's happening in student browsers real time. I'm going to wait about another three minutes before I go ahead and begin that demonstration. Again, my name is Jack West. I work with the Hapara team. I'm also a teacher at a high school in Redwood City, California. And in about a minute and a half, I'm going to start a broadcast demonstrating Hapara's ro remote control feature that allows educators to see what students are doing in Chrome browsers in real time. If you wish to join the Hangout so that you can ask questions and participate with me, which I would love because the last time it was a bit of a ghost town, uh, please go ahead and message me on my, uh, on my page right in the comments of the on-air Chrome with Hapara's remote control Hangout, and then I'll bring you in. Just let me know. When you post a comment, I'll show your name, and then I'll invite you in. Okay, hello, it's four o'clock. My name is Jack West, and I am uh, a team member on Hapara, the makers of Teacher Dashboard for Google Apps. I am also a teacher at a high school in Redwood City where I've been for 15 years. I work there part time and I work part time with the Hapara team. Today, what I'm going to share in this Google Home, uh, Hangout, excuse me, is Hapara's remote control for Chrome browsers that gives educators the ability to see what's happening in student browsers in real time. I'm going to share my screen with you now. Great. First of all, I have to demonstrate for you that uh, I've got two users that I'm simulating in this demonstration. On the left side is a window where I have a teacher logged in specifically logged in to Teacher Dashboard for Google Apps by Hapara, H-A-P-A-R-A. -A. And on the second window, I have another identity. This is the identity of a student in that teacher's class, also logged in to Google Apps and using the Chrome browser on any machine. This is a teacher, excuse me, this is a student, again, logged into their Google Apps account using the Chrome browser on any machine. Now, of course, if the student is on a Chromebook, then they're logged into Chrome by virtue of the fact that they can't be doing anything but be logged into Chrome. And the teacher does not need to be using Chrome. All they need to be uh, doing is accessing the internet anywhere through Teacher Dashboard. One of the features of Teacher Dashboard is this remote control capability. Remote control allows the teacher to see what's going on in, their, in the student browser's real time for an entire class. Now, you'll notice that there are 10 students in this class and there are only two of them for which remote control is providing any information at this moment. That's because none of these other students are actually logged in to the domain. And I should note here that these aren't actual students. We're not looking into real student work. This is a demonstration account that the Hapara team has created for just purposes like these. The spinning GIF that you see in each of these isn't uh, hogging network bandwidth. It's just an indication that upon last ping, there was no activity uh, for any of these students 
and or excuse me that none of these students were were logged in the only logged in students are chai down here and james up here that i brought up to the top james is actually the identity that I have over here with the musical note icon in the top right. And again, for those of you that may have just joined, I'm simulating here being two users, a teacher user using teacher dashboard and the remote control feature of teacher dashboard and uh, a student using Chrome on any machine logged into the school's domain in which the teacher is also working. Notice that the student has three tabs open. They have their drive open. They've got a file from Google Docs, a document that they've got that they've been working on open. And as students will sometimes do, stray from the task at hand and have uh, Minecraft open. That's my son's favorite, which is why I've included it in there. So three tabs, three different things. Over here on the teacher screen in remote control, you can see those three tabs. Uh, the titles of those three tabs in a, in a window feed for that student. If these other students were logged in and using Chrome, you would see whatever it is that they're working on. Chai, logged in for another demonstration somewhere else in the world, just has his email inbox open. And that's useful. You can see these things by title. But I teach 30 to 35 students and a list of the titles of the tabs while useful if I want a quick glance if I want to have a, uh, a formative assessment while I'm in the class teaching that doesn't take too much of my time is probably not good enough. So we created a current screen view. And within remote control, you can choose to see the titles of the tabs or you can see the current screen view. And you'll see that what, what has happened here is remote control has taken a snapshot of the current screen that the student has in, in front of them, the, the tab that they are currently working on, the front tab, the live tab that's seeing activity from the student in the moment. The remote control feature will refresh and, and seek information from student browsers on a five minute cycle, but the teacher, should they want more current information, can force a refresh at any time. So let me bounce over to Minecraft, and you'll see that that doesn't automatically change here. We need a refresh. So I'll refresh the, the teacher's remote control. And we see Minecraft now as the front page and the current screen view shows that. There are a number of things that we can do, both in the current screen view and also in the browser tabs title view. One handy feature is the ability, ability to message an individual student, which over in the right corner of the screen can also be done for the entire class. I'll do it just for this one student so that Chai, who may be on a demonstration somewhere else in the world right now, doesn't get an inadvertent message. I go ahead and I click the message icon, which again can be for an individual student or the entire class, and I type in something like what many teachers do at the end of each class, time to clean up. I click send message, and then this priority message shows up on top of the student browser. That's handy because like other priority messages, the student must click the OK button before they're able to do anything else. It interrupts their current work, so you get their attention. Clicking OK then allows them to continue. I have eliminated about 50% of my LCD, maybe even 75% of my LCD projector use saving on those expensive 300 plus dollar bulbs by using this next feature which enables me to open a tab for any student or again for the class as a whole and let's open up your favorite website and mine google.com and you'll see that it opens a tab right in front for those students or for that student Lastly, and let me bounce back over to Minecraft for dramatic effect here, you also have the ability with Hapara's remote control for teacher dashboard to close student tabs. Now, if, you're, if you've been a teacher for any amount of time, you know that just closing a tab for a kid without any communication probably isn't the best choice of things to do for relationship building, but let's say you've asked several times and you've warned, then you can go ahead and close that tab if you need to simply by clicking the X. You get a confirmation message 
and after you click OK, that tab closes on that student machine. OK, I'm going to turn my face back on here and close. So I've demonstrated for you the remote control feature uh, available through Teacher Dashboard by Hapara. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to uh, send me an email at jack.west at hapara.com. Hapara is spelled H-A-P-A-R-A. -A -A. And the, you can also visit the website at hapara.com, H-A-P-A-R-A. -A. Thank you very much for your time, and I look forward